All right, I am here with David Azizi from the Law Offices of David Azizi, and we have had many discussions as it relates to trip and fall and slip and fall injury cases, but something we have not discussed is the type of shoes that are worn in these type of situations. Obviously, most people wear shoes when they are out and about, and you may not think about it, but the type of shoe you wear, whether it be heels or sandals or tennis shoes or running shoes, it could be a big determining factor in a cause of a slip and fall, or maybe there is a manufacturer malfunction. So, David, in a slip and fall case, what exact do shoes come into play? Is this something that is a concern, and how do you go about assessing that situation? Well, the shoes always uh, comes into play when the defense wants to know as to whether there was any wear and tear, or like whether the shoe in of itself played a role in causing the slip and fall. But in the cases I've always handled, you could be wearing high heels, uh, you could be barefoot, you can be wearing flip-flops, sometimes you could be wearing a shoe with a shoe cover, or high heels, or leather shoes, uh, tennis shoes. In general, I've noticed my clients have unfortunately slipped and fallen, or tripped and fall as a result of no matter what kind of shoe they are wearing. Uh, sometimes it becomes an issue for the defense to want to know if the sole of the particular shoe was worn out or it was to the point where it contributed to the slip and fall. Um, for example, they've done testing determined that high heel shoes that have hard core, you know, leather hard uh, surface uh, would think that those would provide less of a slip resistance uh, or more exactly, less uh, slippery condition, but recent testing has shown that actually it's the opposite. People who do have the hardcore leather, uh, the bottom which is hard, uh, of leather uh, high heel shoes tend to be able to slip more. Um, one of the other shoes, flip-flops, you know, they're, they're rubbery, you walk on a surface, it's wet floor, it just causes you to slip and fall. In general, as a business owner, you're responsible to make sure that your floors are free and clear of any particular dangerous condition, of slippery condition that could cause you to slip and fall. Um, a lot of the times the testing that's done is the particular shoe or the uh, shoe cover or the high heel is used to do a friction test on the particular floor to determine if the liquid substance had not been there, would that cause you to slip and fall? And a lot of times our experts come to understand that no, that if you there is no liquid substance or foreign substance that would cause you to slip and fall, that would have not happened irrespective of the shoe. So it does play a role sometimes, and it's always good that if you've been in a slip and fall accident to preserve your shoes so that it can be shown to the defense and say, look, there's nothing wrong with my shoe. It didn't play a role in causing my slip and fall. Absolutely, and that's very important information when it comes to any type of slip and fall or trip and fall injury. So if you have been injured or hurt in any way in a slip and fall or trip and fall injury, please feel free to contact the law offices of David is easy. You will find the phone number above in the YouTube video as well as below in the information. Thank you for your time, David. All right, thank you.